Hello friends and welcome back to Reverence Gaming. Today in Know Your Weapon, we're going to take a look at the Rorsch MK4. Finally, we have a railgun. Now, she may not look very good, but this sci-fi ugly duckling is a solid all-around weapon. You get your snipey snipe mode with a single shot, one tap to the noggin, or you have your burst or full auto mode, which just melts enemies. Oh, and you can use it to blow up vehicles, and it's kind of amazing. Testing against the tank, each bullet will do around one armor damage, with a full mag doing roughly 17 damage in total, and the single shot does four damage a pop. It gets slightly more damage if you attack the rear of a tank, and I do mean slightly. So you're probably not going to be killing a lot of full health vehicles with this, but the low health ones that are just barely going to get away, well, not anymore. As far as infantry damage goes, we tested out to around 150 meters and the damage values for each mode remained consistent, with your single shot mode giving you 80 damage to the body and a headshot resulting in an instant nap nap time. Full auto and burst mode gave the same damage values with 28 damage to the body and 61 damage to that pretty face. You don't really need attachments with this gun, which is great because you don't get any. Do yourself a favor and enjoy that starting sight and slap on the best sniper scope you can as a secondary. The single shot mode is perfect for counter sniping with ease, but just be aware the charge time is the weapon's main and significant disadvantage, as you will have a longer time to fire than people using down, well anything else. As far as burst fire goes, I found it does provide a tighter grouping recoil wise in the full auto, and it is a five round burst, meaning if at least four of those rounds connect, you get a kill. But it also means you're effectively limited to only four pulls of the trigger before having to reload. I recommend sticking with the full auto since it gives you a greater flexibility over burst with only slightly worse recoil. This weapon excels both at close range and long range combat, with its weakness being in the mid range area, where with the limited ammo capacity and the accuracy issues, it can be difficult to get kills in the 80 meter range. However, once you gain the ability to see into the future, and time your charge right, you just melt everyone at close range. Okay, now to give you the gift of future sight. You see that little box in the bottom left of the screen? Well, that's called a mini-map. And if you see some little red dots, well, those are bad guys. And if you happen to see those little red dots close to you, like really close to you, or perhaps you even hear the pitter-patter of their feet as you move from behind your cover, you should already be holding down the trigger and acquiring your target as your gun begins to fire. And this is great, because now people will complain the weapon is extremely overpowered, and that's really what you're aiming for here. Anyway, that's it. Yep, that's the whole video. As always, God bless. Now get out there and shoot someone in the face. Jacket secured.